Good morning, boys and girls, and thank you so much for joining me for Children's Liturgy of the Word this morning. Today is a special day in our church year. It's the day we celebrate the Ascension of the Lord, which is the day we remember when Jesus was taken up into heaven. I'm going to teach you a new sign today in sign language. The sign is God. First, we'll take our hand and hold it up at an angle like this. Then, point it upward. Good job, let's try it again. Tilt at an angle, point up. That's how we sign the word God. We'll use that in our gathering song, which is called, Come and Follow Me. Sing with me. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Jesus called twelve apostles to come and follow him. He taught them to love the Father and turn away from sin. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. They saw him forgive, heal the sick and teach the crowds. Go and witness, he told them. I send you now to go baptize. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. At his death and resurrection, the disciples were amazed. But the courage to proclaim him happened when the Holy Spirit came. Come and follow me, see how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. We are now his disciples called to witness everywhere. Jesus Christ is our Savior. In his name we love and care. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Go into the world and tell the good news. Thank you so much for singing with me, boys and girls. Today's symbol are a pair of footprints. Jesus tells us to follow him all the days of our lives, and we'll hear more about that later. Let's light a candle to show that we're ready to hear God's word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Jesus told his disciples, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and give you power. Then you will tell everyone about me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and everywhere in the world. After Jesus had said this, and while they were watching, he was taken up into a cloud. They could not see him, but as he went up, they kept looking up into the sky. Suddenly, two men dressed in white clothes were standing there beside them. They said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here and looking up into the sky? Jesus has been taken to heaven, but he will come back in the same way that you have seen him go. The word of the Lord. And we say, Thanks be to God. Can you try that? Thanks be to God. Good job. So tell me, what happened to Jesus today? Go ahead and tell me if you know. Yes, you're right. 
Jesus was taken up into heaven. That's what we mean when we say the ascension of the Lord. Jesus was taken up into heaven. Ascension is a big word, isn't it? Can you say ascension? Ascension, good job. Now, I wanna ask you something. Have you ever been so confused with something that you had to stop and ask yourself, now what do I do? That's happened to me before. And guess who else it happened to? Jesus Apostles. Jesus Apostles felt the same way today. After Jesus was taken up on a cloud into heaven, the apostles just stood there, still looking up at the sky. They didn't know what to do next. Hmm, do you remember what happened next in our reading? Well, I'll tell you. Two men in white clothes appeared right next to the apostles. I'll bet they were surprised. They asked the apostles why they were just standing there and explained to them that Jesus had been taken up into heaven and would return someday. This is the story of the Ascension, which is the special day that we celebrate. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. Sing with me the second time when I raise my hands. God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. All of you nations clap your hands and shout joyful praises to God. The Lord Most High is fearsome, the ruler of all the earth. God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. God goes up to his throne as people shout and trumpets blast. Sing praises to God our King. God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. God is ruler of all the earth. Praise God with songs. God rules the nations from his holy throne. God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. Thank you for singing. So we heard today that God mounts the throne to shouts of joy. Were you wondering what this psalm means? Well, it means that God sits on his throne. But do you know what a throne is? Go ahead and tell me if you do. Yes, a throne is a special chair that kings sit on. And God is king of heaven and earth. So God sits on his special throne in heaven while people shout and sing joyfully in happiness. We can sing and praise God too and thank him for all that he does for us. Now it's time to get ready for the gospel. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to sing the Alleluia. Please sing it with me when I raise my hands.
In today's gospel, we will find out what Jesus tells his apostles to do. The Lord be with you, and we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And we say, glory to you, O Lord. May Jesus be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. Jesus' 11 disciples went to a mountain in Galilee where Jesus had told them to meet him. They saw him and worshiped him, but some of them doubted or didn't believe. Jesus came to them and said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Go to the people of all nations and make them my disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teach them to do everything I have told you. I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well done. You can go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Do you remember what Jesus told his apostles to do today in the gospel? Hmm. Well, he said, go tell the people of every nation or every country and make them my disciples or my followers. So, he said to baptize them and teach them to do everything that Jesus told them. Wow, that's a big job and a really important one too. The apostles faced many challenges or tough times that came with telling people about Jesus. Some people made fun of them, others forced them to leave, and still others put them in jail. Yet, they had seen these same things happen to Jesus, so they knew what to do. They accepted their sufferings and continued doing what needed to be done so that more people could know about Jesus. The apostles followed in Jesus' footsteps, and so can we. Jesus is so proud of us whenever we do as his first disciples did. Yes, we're also called to follow in Jesus' footsteps, to live as he lived. And Jesus gives a beautiful message at the end of the gospel today, reminding us that he will be with us always. Let's say, Jesus, we will follow you. Your turn. Jesus, we will follow you. Nicely done. Today, we will sing a song to help us profess our faith. Your part will be, yes, Lord, I believe. Can you try that? Yes, Lord, I believe. Well done. Go ahead and sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. That Jesus died, yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe He rose again, yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, 
I do believe. Thank you for singing with me. Now it's time for the prayers of the faithful, which is when we bring our prayers to God. Your part will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Can you say that? Lord, hear our prayer. Nicely done. Just as Jesus prayed to the Father in heaven for his followers on earth, let us pray too for all those we know and love. Father, we care about our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the bishops and priests, and all the leaders of our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we care about all the suffering people in the world, especially those who are sick. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we care about all the people in our community, especially all doctors, nurses, and essential workers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God. Go ahead and do this in your hearts or out loud. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have given Jesus to us and us to Jesus, that we might grow in faith and love until we are ready for the everlasting joys of heaven. Through the light and power of the Holy Spirit, may we follow his footsteps all the days of our lives. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's children's liturgy, boys and girls, but don't worry, there's still more you can do at home. Use the link below to download the Footsteps coloring page and a coordinating Children Celebrate leaflet from Flom Publishing. To order your children their own Children Celebrate leaflets for Pentecost and the rest of the summer, Go to BayardFaithResources.com and search for Children Celebrate Summer 2020. Thank you so much to those of you who emailed us pictures of your coloring pages this week. We're very excited to show them at the end of this video. Parents, if you would like to share your child's coloring pages, please email KidsLiturgy2020 at gmail.com and we'll try to feature them in our next video. We would like to thank John Berland, Ovation Music, and Flom Publishing for the use of their wonderful Children Celebrate resources and music. Thank you so much for joining me today, boys and girls, on this day that we celebrate Jesus' ascension into heaven. We hope that you have a wonderful week. We will be continuing our children's liturgies throughout the summer, so we hope to see you next week too. God bless you, stay well, and remember that Jesus loves you. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Come and follow me. See how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. Jesus called twelve apostles to come and follow him. He taught them to love the Father and turn away from sin. Come and follow me, see how God loves you. Go into the world and tell the good news. They saw him forgive. Heal the sick and teach the crowds Go and witness, he told them I send you now to go baptize Come and follow me See how God loves you Go into the world And tell the good news